In this lecture, we will check the stability of LTI system and comment about the extension of HT, which is the impulse response using the region of convergence. In the previous lecture, I gave you one property. According to that property, whenever region of convergence includes the imaginary axis, that means the J omega axis, then the signal will be absolutely integrable and the system will be stable. Let's understand this property in more detail. For this, I will take one time domain signal FT. Now, the signal can act as the input to an LTI system or it may act as the impulse response of an LTI system. Let's say, let's say XS is the Laplace transform of the input and if the region of convergence includes the imaginary axis then according to the property xt will be absolutely integrable now we will talk about ht let's say its laplace transform is hs and this is also known as the transfer function of the lti system now in this case if region of convergence includes the imaginary axis, then HT will be absolutely integrable and also the LTI system will be stable. So let's move to the first part of the question. Here HT is the impulse response having HS the transfer function and ROC is given as the region when sigma is greater than 2. So let's move to our S plane. And in this plane, let's say sigma is equal to 2 here. So first we will draw a straight line sigma equal to 2. You can see the dotted line here. This is line sigma equal to 2. And here equality sign will not be included because we know poles are not included in the ROC. Therefore ROC will not be equal to sigma greater than equal to 2 but it will be only sigma greater than 2. This means points on this line are not included in the ROC. You can see ROC here and we know in the ROC no poles are included. So when you move towards the right you will find no other pole. This means sigma equal to 2 is the rightmost pole and our ROC is existing on the right side of the rightmost pole and according to the property this implies signal HT is a right sided signal. So we have the knowledge about the extension of HT. Now we will comment about the stability of LTI system. You can see in the ROC the imaginary axis is not included. This means our LTI system is unstable. And also we can say HT is not absolutely integrable. And now we will move to the second part of the question. In this part, region of convergence is the region when sigma is less than 2. So first we will locate sigma equal to 2 in the S plane. And let's say sigma is equal to 2 here. Now if we draw a perpendicular line like this then it will give us sigma equal to 2 and ROC is the region which will exist when sigma is less than 2. So all the region on the left hand side of this line will be ROC but don't include the points on the line because ROC does not contain any poles. So we can say that our ROC is the region existing on the left side of the leftmost pole. And we can say that this is the leftmost pole because ROC will not have any poles. So our signal HT is the left sided signal because for left sided signals ROC will exist on the left side of the leftmost pole. Now we will talk about the stability of the LTI system. You can see ROC is including the J omega axis. This means ROC is including the imaginary axis and therefore 
our LTI system is stable and as ROC is including the imaginary axis signal HT is absolutely integrable and now we will move to the third part of the question here you can see sigma is greater than minus 1 but less than 2 so first we will locate sigma equal to minus 1 and sigma equal to 2 this line is sigma equal to 2 and this line is sigma equal to minus 1 and our ROC is greater than minus 1 this means all the region on the right side of this line but it is less than 2 this means all the region on the left side of this line so the common region is this one and we are having our ROC like a strip and in the last lecture we saw one property according to which whenever the signal is both sided the region of convergence is like a strip now we will comment about the stability of the LTI system you can see in the region of convergence the imaginary axis is included therefore the LTI system will be stable and HT will be absolutely integrable let's move to the fourth part in this case sigma is greater than minus 3 but less than minus 2 following the same process we will get ROC like this and again ROC is like a strip therefore HT is both sided both sided and LTI system is unstable it is unstable because imaginary axis is not included in the ROC and therefore HT is not absolutely integrable so this is all for the fourth part and now we will move to the fifth part which is homework problem for you you need to solve this problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one